Animation cancelling in Wedding Wave can be extremely complex and it's one of the best ways to take your gameplay forward. There are three main types of animation cancel in Wedding Wave, including the swap cancel, the jump cancel, and the dash cancel. And I'll be going over every single one of them in this video to tell you what you need to know and how they can elevate your gameplay. So if you're looking to take your Wedding Wave gameplay to the next step forward and do massive damage like me, this is a video for you. Let's get started. Almost every single action in Wedding Wave can be interrupted. So whether or not you're in an attack streak does not matter. You can always be interrupting them with like a dash, with like a swap, or with like a jump. This is the main basis of animation cancelling, is to interrupt your attack. Swap cancelling is probably the most basic but also the most important one. If you ever switch characters during the middle of an attack animation, you can see that the attack still stay, and the characters actually finish up the attack. In this example, you can see I initially a punch attack on Yinin and then swap to Rover to complete the punch. And you can see that both of their damage actually went through. This can be extremely useful to cancel out a very long animation like Angkor charge attack or Yinin charge attack. As long as you initiate the charge attack and then switch character, it will still go through. One of the most useful example when it comes to this is to initiate a echo attack and then swap cancel out. You can see that the echo attack still go through, even though it has a really long animation. Attack that a swap cancel out will maintain all of its original property. So for example, right now, my Lin Yang currently have a 22% glacial damage bonus. But I'm using this echo that will give me another 4% glacial damage bonus every time it hit. So what I can do is to initiate this echo and then swap cancel out. You can see that that attack still went through, and so therefore, my Glacial damage bonus on Ling Yang is now 26% because it gained 4% from that attack hit, even though I have already swapped cancelled all of it and took control of another character. Here is a practical example in combat where I started attack on Yin Lin, switch to Encore to attack, switch back to Yin Lin to finish that attack, switch back to Encore to do another attack, switch to Auto to cancel all of that attack, switch to Encore back again to do that attack, and then switch to Yin Lin. If you're fast enough, you're going to be able to attack on three character at once altogether, and this is going to be the greatest way to boost your DPS in the long run. Now, certain characters such as Anko have multiple parts to their skills. If you cancel all of it, then you might not be able to complete the second part. What you can do, however, is initialize the first part of the attack, do a swap cancel attack, and then come back to Anko to finish up the second part of the attack. Here is a slowdown example that you can see I can switch back to Anko and attack again. One of the biggest reasons why swap cancelling is so important is because every single character in this game has their own concerto energy bar, and only when you're attacking an enemy, you'll be able to build them. So here, I didn't attack an enemy on Encore, so therefore I have zero energy. But if I sneak attack in by utilizing this swap cancel technique, you can see that I can build significantly more energy on my Encore, and this doesn't consume any more fuel time. Here's what it looked like on the master level, where I initialize an attack on Gian ults, swap to Verena to do a couple of things, switch back to Jian to finish the attack, initialize another attack, switch to Yang Yang to do a couple of things, switch back to Jian to finish the attack. I'm sure you get the idea at this point. And so that's what swap cancelling is. It is a massive way to increase your DPS, and you can do this on every single little small attack. Even just a dragon attack on Jian, yes, you can keep on swapping in and out every time. Now a small thing to be really careful of is actually called backward switching. In Wedding Wave, when you switch character, there's a small cooldown before you can switch back. So for example, when I switch to Danji, there's a 1 second cooldown before I can switch back to Verena. For the most part, this is not a big deal. But if I'm extremely fast with my fingers, you can see that sometimes I'm blocked from switching back already. However, this is not a restriction when you switch forward. So if I switch from Verena to Rover, there's no cooldown restriction to switch to Danji. So this is like to call forward switching. So what I can do is do Rover, Verena, swap cancel, into Danji. And you can see extremely quick, I was able to cast a E, a jump heavy attack to heal, and switch to Danji. Extremely quick. Extremely quick. And this I like to call forward swap cancelling, because you can't swap backward, but you can swap forward. But regardless, swap cancelling is probably one of the most exciting techniques to elevate your gameplay. It makes the game feel so much more fast paced, it makes you feel like all three characters are working together. But more importantly, it triples your damage by being able to play free character. If you thought swap cancelling was exciting, well just wait because I got a lot more to show you in this video. But I also got a lot more to show you on the rest of the channel so make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. The next topic to cover is going to be jump cancel and dash cancel. Now this two use a similar basis and that is you initially attack and you cancel with a dash or you initially attack and you cancel with a jump. Now the difference between this and swap cancel is that this completely cancels the attack. A lot of attack in Wedding Wave has really long and lag animation. 
take Danji third E for example, you can see that until the blade slam all the way down, I can't take control of my character again. But I can use a jump to turn it into a jump punch by ending the animation early. Here's a side by side comparison of how much faster I was able to act and turn it into a jump punch for some extra damage. An extremely useful scenario is to cancel off your long animation attack to do a punch parry. This is actually a great technique to combine your swap cancel because you can swap cancel off your plunge and your initial character will still complete the plunge damage. That's double the amount of damage. If you're quick enough, you can actually do this on all three of your character at the exact same time. When it comes down to jump attack, you can actually short hop your jump attack. So for example here, if I do a jump and I do a plunge, you can see my character jump relatively high. But if I do an input fast enough, you can see I actually jump lower. This is especially apparent on character with mid-air attack like Verena. So here's what happened when I jump attack. Here's what happened when I do a short hop jump attack. And you can see it come out much quicker because my jump distance is a lot smaller. This is called short hopping. On character like Verena, when you do a jump mid-air attack, you can use one of these photosynthesis stack to heal. But that takes a while, so what you want to do is jump short hop and attack. And you can see that give you the exact same effect, but it just come out a lot faster. And then you can combine it with the other technique, where you do jump short hop, switch, punch. Or if you short hop low enough, you can actually completely avoid the plunge, because the next character you switch in will be on the ground. Obviously, this is extremely useful if you just want to dump stack on character like Farina, because every time you do a jump mid-air attack, it heal you. So if you want a quick way to get a bunch of healing in, Doing this short hop jump cancel is going to be your way. Speaking of Farina, another problem you'll notice with Farina is that her skill is quite long. There's this big ass animation. But what if I can tell you, you can also cancel off that one. And we're going to use a different technique this time, the dash cancel. The dash cancel for the most part operates the same way as jump cancel, except you just use a dash to cancel out instead of a jump. The main difference this is of course it doesn't put you into the air, which can be more advantageous in some situation. When it comes down to getting stacks on Verena, all you have to do is cast your skill, it doesn't actually have to hit. That means if you do a skill into dash cancel, you can see there's no animation, but I still got a stack. And so this allowed me to do things like skill dash cancel into a heavy attack immediately. This will be one of the fastest way to get the inherent passive on Verena, because every time you do a heavy attack, the star follower boom, you get a 20% attack buff. But what if you can cancel all of that cancel with another cancel? Ah, now you're thinking. You see, the trick of playing Verena comes down to using skill dash heavy jump normal top. Skill, cancel that with a dash cancel, and then initialize a heavy attack, cancel that with a jump cancel, into doing free normal attack, finally canceling all of that one with a swap cancel. This is by far the quickest way to burn all four stacks on Verena. That's because Verena can only do three minute air attack at once to burn her stacks. So you will do a heavy attack to burn the first one, and then you do jump free normal attack to Ah, now you're thinking with cancel. Wedding Wave is already an extremely fast pick game between parrying and dodging. And now when you start adding all these animation cancel in, you're going to have so much more fun. And it's going to be so much more fast paced. So I don't know why you're still watching this video because other than subscribing, you should just go play the game right now.